Hiya, yeah, how are you doing? Hope everybody's well. Uh, this will be the last video before Christmas and there won't be one next week. I'm dropping on Monday uh, because of Christmas uh, but there will be some dropping after that. So, what are we using today? Uh, the soap was sent to me by Marion, the barbarian, uh, Marion Hickson. Thanks Marion, I've never used it before. There we go, first line shave fallout. There's the soap in the tub. My wife describes this as a smelling like a quote, unquote, a fushty old house. The scent is based on YSL Tuxedo, which is quite an expensive uh, scent, stroke cologne. And the notes are violet leaf accord, bergamot oil, coriander oil, rose oil, lily of the valley accord, black pepper oil, and the base notes are ambergris, patchouli and vanilla bourbon. Dark masculine scent is the way it's described. Yeah, I quite like it, but my wife obviously doesn't. Not in the tub anyway. So that's the soap. The brush, I'm trying to stick with like the orange sort of theme. So we're going with a Macito 24mm. This is a finest extra, extra, extra density brush. That's been soaking for the last few minutes. The razor, going vintage today, 1953, a Gillette Rocket HD aka Super Speed from 1953. So twist to open, non-adjustable, twist to open, non-adjustable. Uh, and the razor, we're also going vintage with Persona Super Stainless. This is a, a new old stock pack I managed to acquire. You can see the back there. Ever, Persona, Everready Persona, London and Glasgow. That's how they, they came. That is one pack of five blades. Presentation's spot on, really think about it. And then inside here, we've got a dispenser akin to the spoilers or from that sort of time. I've no idea what age these blades are, probably 70s. So obviously there's a little arrow just up there and should hopefully just be able to push down and slide. Maybe not. Hmm. There we go, we have success on a plate. I think there's maybe there's a couple there stuck together. But to do that, I basically just pulled the, the container apart, just to get it out, so to speak. So they're obviously bound together with age and time. There's only one blade there, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. Feels quite thick, I must admit. But there's definitely only one. Yep. Yeah. That was hard work, wasn't it? So, there's the blade. There's the blade loaded. I do hope it gives a good shave after that amount of effort. Right. In the water. Get a soak. <sighs> Brush. Yeah. 
there we go. Four shakes, I'm not squeezing the bulb, I'm leaving water in there. And we'll get into the, the saw. So yeah, like I said, this will be the last video before Christmas. And uh, I will get some stuff hopefully recorded over the Christmas period, but I won't be in a position to get it uploaded. So, yeah, I've got no idea about this soap base. I've never used first line shave before, so. Fushed old house, cracking description. It smells like a fushy old house that a man would live in. You've got a lot of women, haven't you? Descriptive properties. Yeah, I think enough there. There is a scent similar to Tuxedo Rocious Moustache, which is probably a quarter of the price. Uh, I did try it a year or so ago. I just found it, it wasn't for me at that time, moment in time, it was just clinging and it almost seemed like one dimensional. But it is a, a well known fragrance in the fragrance community, Rosh's uh, Rosh's Moustache. Uh, I tried the EDP. Uh, so I just find it very clinging and quite heavy. Yeah, I think we've ordered way too much. So wherever you are this Christmas, if you're in the military, you're working away from home, serving away. Cheers. Did that myself for numerous years and uh, it's not the best time to be away but you make the most of it and uh, it means you get to have two Christmas dinners one when you come back as well generally if you're working Christmas day I hope it's not overly what is the key word that most emergency services don't like? Hope there's not a lot going on and you happen to have a fairly relaxed day. I was quite interested last week to look at the analytics on the video with it being dropping on a Monday morning at 8 o'clock. Viewing numbers and everything else were comparable or have been comparable to my channel. This is what, what it is. I, there hasn't been many. Uh, no, the numbers and figures were comparable to most of the videos. So. I'll let everybody in the dog load and publish on, a one, on Sundays and I'll stick with the 8 o'clock Monday morning video going live. In case you're wondering, it's now Saturday afternoon and I'm recording this and you're seeing it Monday morning or whenever you're watching it.
Yeah, we'll leave that there for now. Take enough time lathering, getting blades out of boxes and everything else. Right. Yeah, there's definitely one blade there, just checking. So, one persona super stainless, which took some getting. Gillette Rocket HD 500 from 1953. Doesn't feel as sharp as well, not on the first pass anyway. As say for example, something like this straight from the packet. Modern Super Shave X blade. They're excellent blades. However. There's not a lot there. Soap, yep, yeah, no issues with the soap. I don't mind the scent. Seems to be okay. I think First Line shared actually a bunch of emergency responders or ex emergency responders in the States. Because they've brought out soaps, thin blue line for police, red line for firemen. They've done green line for paramedics. with part of the funds going off to different charities in the States. This razor basically shaves the same as every other super speed of a, a medium ilk, whether it be a black tip. It's called the HD because it's got a slightly heavier handle. This model of razor was what my father used. Uh, what he taught me to shave with. It was the first vintage razor I bought. I've got no qualms at all with the soap. It looks pretty good on the brush. It looks pretty good on the chin. Feels okay on the skin. I'm quite lucky, I don't react. I've not had a soap yet that I've reacted to. Skin like a rhino. Yeah, it's certainly slick enough. There's all the hang on the vintage razors. 
So you've got to be a little bit careful on the nostrils and ear lobes. There's a little bit of blade sticking out. Blade feels fine now, second pass. Yeah, slickness. There's enough on the skin you could shave with that. However, if you if you knew about shaving, despite people like me on YouTube saying, yeah, you could shave with that, don't put lather on your skin. It's the only layer between you and a sharp piece of steel for. A medium between your skin and the blade. So don't be stupid. So lather up. Almost there, should have brought a coffee. Normal spots, really, for me. So, wise, I've got nothing, no problem with it. Either performance or scent. Yeah, it is dark. It's the ambergris will be the darkness in it. That'll be the bit my wife doesn't like. Uh, and a couple of soaps with ambergris in it, and uh, she's not a big fan, to say the least. If you like a dark scent, it's because of the winter. It's a good winter scent.
Done. Time for a face wash. See you in a minute. Cold water's getting chilly. Would there be any interest from anybody in watching or having me do a cold water shave after after Christmas and the New Year? Our water temperature at the moment is probably around about seven degrees. I had a moment on it the other day because I was going to do that today. Cold water, cold steel, with a menthol soap as well, just for good measure. Uh, but uh, decided against it. But if there's any interest in a cold water shave and the pros and cons of shaving with cold water as opposed to warm water, uh, show a comment downstairs and we'll see what we can sort for the future. Yeah, I've got no issues at all with that uh, soap, despite it smelling like a St. Louis, is it Missouri? Any more? To the States, St. Louis anyway. Uh, but yeah, I think it's got goat smoke and tallow in it, so it works pretty well. Which hazel? Right, poor shave. I've got nothing, I haven't got any of the matching scents or splashes, so there's nothing to go along with it. So I'm going to keep it simple with aloe vera gel. Um, you don't have to use expensive stuff to keep your face so, half decent. One or two little weepers. This is aloe vera gel from Superdrug. I find it quite tightening after a while. It moisturises the out your skin. But uh, Yeah. Right, quick recap of what we've used today. The soap was first line shave, fallout. Uh, yeah, no issues at all with the soap. Uh, the wife doesn't like the scent. Fushty old house. Fushty, what a great word. Scots have some cracking words for things. Fushty, great. The brush was the Masito 24mm finest, I think it's extra density as well. Really good brushes for the money if you can still get them. The razor was Gillette Rocket HD 500 from 1953. And the blade, when we eventually got one out of the packet in the box, was a Persona Super Stainless from Glasgow factory. Feels a very thick blade, very inflexible. Uh, be interesting to see how the shaves of that progress. Anyhow, enough blather. Right, I hope everybody who watches and subscribes, first of all thank you for subscribing and commenting and partaking in this little YouTube channel. Uh, I hope you and your families Stay safe and have a good Christmas. Hope you've all been really good. You're not on Santa's naughty list. And uh, stay safe and enjoy yourselves, folks. If you have any comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.